Let's start by plotting triangle ABC on the Cartesian plane. We are given that the base BC lies on the x-axis. The midpoint of BC is the origin O through which the y-axis passes perpendicular to the x-axis. We are given that the length of BC is equal to 2A and therefore the coordinates of point C are A0 and the coordinates of point B are minus A0. Let's assume that the vertex A has coordinates HK. Now we join point B to point A and point C to point A to complete triangle ABC. Now drop a perpendicular from point A onto the x-axis and let the foot of the perpendicular be the point N. The vertical distance of point A from the x-axis is equal to K and the horizontal distance of point A from the y-axis is equal to H. Since the coordinates of point B are minus A0, therefore the distance OB is equal to A. And finally, distance CN is equal to H minus A. Let's assume that the base angles of triangle ABC are theta and phi respectively. Therefore, angle ACN is equal to pi minus phi. Now from right angle triangle A and B tan theta is equal to A n divided by B n which is equal to K divided by H plus A. Similarly from right angle triangle A and C tan of pi minus phi is equal to a n divided by c n which is equal to k divided by h minus a and therefore minus of tan phi is equal to k divided by h minus a. Now we are given that theta minus phi is equal to the angle alpha. Take the tan of both sides, we get tan of theta minus phi is equal to tan alpha, which implies that tan theta minus tan phi divided by 1 plus tan theta tan phi is equal to tan alpha. Now substitute the values of tan theta and tan phi obtained earlier. We get k upon h plus a minus minus k upon h minus a divided by 1 plus k upon h plus a times minus k upon h minus a is equal to tan alpha. This can be written as k upon h square minus a square multiplied by in brackets h minus a plus h plus a divided by 1 minus k square upon h square minus a square is equal to tan alpha. a cancels in the numerator inside the brackets and this expression simplifies to 2hk divided by h square minus a square divided by h square minus k square minus a square divided by h square minus a square and this is equal to tan alpha. This further simplifies to h square minus k square minus a square is equal to 2hk times cot alpha. Now the locus of the vertex A with coordinates hk is obtained by replacing h with x and k with y in the above equation. Therefore, the locus of A is 
x square minus y square minus a square is equal to 2xy times cot alpha or x square minus y square minus 2xy cot alpha is equal to a square which is the required answer.